All right, fam, y'all, that was haters, man. I tell y'all, I love that song. We all know about these haters, and and especially my man we got on the phone right now, man, my man John, the Baptist, God's poetic prophet. What's going on, John? What's going on, my brother Rico? Hey, brother, you know me is another thing, brother. Just how to do what I do, brother. I understand, man. I, I tell you what, man, I appreciate you coming on. Uh, as I do all my guests, man, every week you are dedicated and you you bring your 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 thoughts and your and your beliefs here right on and put them on the air with our fam. And hopefully somebody is actually uh, uh getting the message on what you're trying to talk about, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, but I feel you. You know what? You said my people perish for lack of knowledge, brother. That's one. Of, that's one of the things I kind of want to talk about today, brother. It is time for it is time for those names written in the Lamb Book of Life before the foundation of the earth to wake up and take a stand, man. It is time for people to stop faking the funk. You know, it is time for people to really start understanding and, and start. It's, it's time for people to start learning God's word. And it's not just a something that you wait for somebody else to. You know, son, this time for people to start getting in the book for themselves on a daily basis, start getting a relationship with God, because that's what it's going to take, brother, to stand up against this evil in the world. Well, I tell you what, I, yeah, and, and, and that's, that's very... Uh, very real, man, because I, I, I believe in that myself. You know, I think that a lot of people, we read the Bible, you know, or they, they believe in the Bible, so to speak, but it's different things in the Bible that they choose to pick that they want to believe, you know what I mean? And I, I'll be like, for real, like we was talking off the air earlier about it, you know, about um, the white God that with the blue eyes and the blonde hair. And, but in the Bible, it says that uh, God had skin of bronze and hair of wool. You know, not saying that he's black, not saying that, you know, but he wasn't white with blonde, blonde hair and blue eyes. That's all I'm trying to say. Well, the thing about it, brother, you know what? All you have to do is just look at the people from that side of the world where he's from. And that are clear right there. I mean, he wasn't like black as far as like an African American, you see what I'm saying? Right. Or he was dark skinned and red like wool. So, I believe this is not so much what, what type of black man it was, just the fact that he wasn't a white man like they portray us, you know? Especially in America, brother, you know, it's getting to the point now where people in America just think got so tired and got so lazy. I think that's what we're here, brother. People think got so lazy and people don't care. And it's like now, I, I put it in, I wrote this in a poem one time. He said, he said, you, he said, he said, let me slow down. He said, why you hate when I tell you the truth? He said, why you hate when I tell you the truth? You want me to lie to you, make you feel good like the devil's doing to you? I don't know one of them need no sin, no sin even though they found me here, they're the very end. All I was get there was trying to save them from themselves. Why you hate when I tell you the truth? He said, it's just beginning the time to deceive the Lord, the whole world, until it's stayed in sleeping mode. He first tried to trick you for his diamonds and gold. The latest trick this time is to get you with the defense code. Why you hate when I tell you the truth? Let me tell you a story about the man named Bill. You fooled a lot of people with all your government handouts. He betrayed our country and got caught your pants down. Yeah, they accepted the fact that your pants on your knees because you knew they wouldn't accept you taking money for the Chinese. Why you sold us out? I don't know your reason. But if they knew the truth about you instead of being in peace, they got the trees, Mr. Bill Clinton. Why you hate when I tell you the truth? He said, I gave you, this was God who said to all his people. He said, I gave you all one book, but yet you're still divided. Now coming back, there ain't no sense in hiding. I'm looking for one bride and she's looking kind of scary. I gotta fight those petty doctrine. You're losing to this girl named Mary. She's the great hall of the Revelation 17. I don't want you to see the masses. She even deceived kings. You call your great whore because you fornicated all the kings of the earth. I don't want you to teach false doctrine. You got a boys. You heard Mr. Pope, Catholic priest, Catholicism. Why you hate when I tell you the truth? God said, most people don't know why they believe what they believe. That's why they're so easily deceived. Because they leave all their knowledge, information, their relationship to God for two hours on Sunday and 30 minutes of TV. He said, you keep switching the channel, searching for your next blessing. Well, that's what you call it now when you're working three jobs and your kids got you stressing. Take my advice, get on your knees and repent and go back and get a couple more Sunday school lessons. Why are you here when I tell you the truth? He said, those are chosen, I use the word if, will humble themselves and tell the truth that I told. They won't spend so much time chasing after the world's fool's gold. Why you hate when I tell you the truth? He said, my so-called people, your light is gone out. It's morning when you brought the separation of church and state. Now you need to salt on the light, because if you ain't got your 503 seat, you don't get your tax breaks. Why you hate when I tell you the truth? This is the message that God is sending to all this sheep. God said, keep your eye on the prize, which has always been heaven, and pray with all your might. If you follow my word, not some fancy man or some fancy temple, you will live a blessed life. God said the worst thing is to be wrong or to see you out to see a little warm and think that you're right. The consequence if you don't can land you in jail. But rejection of Jesus Christ will land you in hell. He said the deception is going to be strong.
stronger, especially in the last days with all this technology. That's why I say go with your eyes and your ears because that's the pathway to your soul. And I'll give you the strength to hold on. My sheep, when you look up here, one boys, you'll know then it's time to come home. Why you hate when I tell you the truth? Yeah, wow. Wow, man. Wow, man, that that's I mean, and, and people tell you they want you to tell your truth, but then and like he's talking about, I mean, like that poem, like I say it is, people want to know the truth, but then at the same time they've been doing the same thing for so long that they don't even want to accept the truth. Like I say, you know, you read in the Bible, you say, like I say, God has brown skin, skin of bronze, and hair of wool, but it, at the same time, just like we saying on good times when Jack, uh, Michael was asked talking to uh, his mom, you know, Florida, hey mama, why would you got that white Jesus on a wall? And you know, it says right here in the Bible, the Bible that you stand on and believe that Jesus had skin uh, skin of bronze and hair of wool and you still look at it like oh for real but you still keep it up on the wall I mean that's my thing I don't understand and same thing with the Sabbath like we was talking about how can you how can you to go to church on the Sabbath I mean on, on, on the Sunday when you know the Sabbath it says keep the Sabbath holy I don't understand that man you know and <laughs> Right, right. Well, I'm with you, man. Cause we was talking about that ye uh, yesterday. Um, uh, I was talking with some pastors, and I like I said we have too many churches, especially here in Fort Worth. Uh, uh, the Stop Six area, all around Fort Worth, man. A whole bunch of churches, but they're not doing nothing, man. They're not doing. They're standing behind in Fort Worth. They tell you to get out, get out from these walls, and spread the word of God. But yet the pastor, the leader, is sitting behind the four walls. You know, you're supposed to be the leader of that. You know, and my thing is, is it? Are you what? Huh? There you go. And for those who just tuning in, to so just tuning in, man, we're talking to my man John the Baptist, God Poetic Prophet, man. And I know we get on this every week, man, and we can talk forever. I already know, man. And we've been talking about, you know, the Bible and, and actually, you know, actually just trusting in the Bible and, and telling the truth. You know, people starting to tell the truth and stop hiding behind certain things. Just going to tell the the, the, the the truth, you know what I'm saying? You know, the but there's a, as, well, as you say, back back in the day, the butt naked truth, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, for real. Everybody should be looking up because I offer an example for every soul is Jesus Christ. 
Right. But the problem is everybody starts looking to the side and you know, they're keeping up with the Joneses and they start measuring themselves by the people on the side. And well, guess what? No matter who you're looking up or down at, they should be looking up too. You see what I'm saying? So nobody should be comfortable. Wow! Wow! I mean, I'm, I'm gonna close on that note, man, because that's that's deep. I mean, I'm telling <laughs> my boy John the Baptist, man, is so deep, man. He is he is he is on point. You know what I'm saying? And he and he is real. I mean, they call him like say the truth hurts, man. When you look on his YouTube, uh, John the Baptist PP, yeah, you know I mean GPP. I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? Y'all will check check out all this stuff, man. Hit him up on Facebook, man. Tell him where to go to to find you, John the Baptist. Brother, you can always find me. I'm on John the Baptist Facebook, John the Baptist J O N G N B A P. And on John the Baptist uh, YouTube, John the Baptist GPP, that's J O H N T H E P A P T I Z GPP, and GPP stands for God's Prayer Prophet, all in one word. Then I'm just, I'm just, uh, I'm just watching on the wall, no crying at any soul that's like minded, because this time for folks to start knowing their mind, it's time for people to start getting back to the basics, it's time for people to start going back to the Bible. Yeah, you're definitely right. And I can say that the Bible is basic instructions before leaving earth, man. It's it's all in there for you. You know what I'm saying? And how, as, I, as I do it always, man, I want to thank you, bro, for being on every week, man, dedicating your time that you do right here on Saga. And I know you can keep going and we can go on for the whole four hours, man. But I know that we have to we have other things. But at the same time, God is very important, should be very important in all our lives, man. And, and we want to uh, keep everybody uh, um in mind, you know, keep keep their minds on God and let them know that, hey, man, if, if nobody else loves you, God loves you, man. You know, you have any shout outs you want to give, John? I just want to shout out, like I always, brother, I thank my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for all things. And I really want to just shout out to all of those who want to be free like me. I ain't talking about walking around in this, in, in, in this world and, 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 and feeling like you're behind bars, even though you out in the public, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's time for folks to get free in their minds. It's time for folks to start the only way you're going to do that is with the truth. So I'm just trying to get the truth as many people as I can because if we don't stand together and stand up for the Bible and stand up for the truth, guess what? Pretty soon it's going to be us against them and it's going to be basically them because it seems like everybody else is going with them. Wow. But you know, because that, like I said, is, what, what is that scripture? Narrow is the way, but broad is the way to destruction. You know what I'm saying? He said, I stand before you. He said, I sit before you two paths. He said, broad and open is the pathway to destruction. Yeah, yeah. Well, I tell you what, man. I'm with you, man. Y'all, y'all understand that. And if y'all listening, like I said, y'all take heed, my man, John the Baptist. Y'all look him up on uh, YouTube. Y'all look him up on Facebook. Friend him. You know, what I'm saying if you have any questions, man. If you, you know, just, just, you know, you have anything that you would like to talk to about the Bible, man. He's open to uh, take any any messages, man. You know, so we hope that we're getting to some people. And uh, I mean, because that's what it's all about, man. That's what I try to do, Sagu, for. So we want to thank you again for your time, man. As we usually do every week, we'll talk to you next week in between the same time that we always do. So that way we can get the word out. Hopefully people will start listening. And also, you know, on the uh, also on the blog talk that um that we'll be doing Sagu Radio Live on that uh, every every day except Wednesdays from noon till two Central Standard Time. So you're welcome to call in and uh, actually give your word there too. Uh, so that's what it is, man. And, and like I say, we thank you. God bless you. You know we'll be talking anyway, John the Baptist, man. We'll be talking. And God bless you, bro. Hey, bro. I appreciate you, Nico, man. God bless you too, bro. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. You already know it's John the Baptist, man. God's poetic prophet right here on Sagu Radio. Let's get into some more music, man. Y'all know God. God love you. If you don't know if anybody else love you, God love you. And we here at Sagu do as well, man. Let's get into some more music. We'll be right back, man. It's a Sagu Radio show. Step your game up, baby. <laughs> 